Well, hey guys, what's growing on? Stay tuned and I'll be right back to show you. Hello YouTube family, this is Mona and welcome back to Butterflies Home and Garden. I am so excited as you all already know with the videos that I've been putting on with the What's Growing On series um, here over at Butterflies Home and Garden. I wanted to come on and show you guys, I'm sure a lot of you might be already turned on to Urban Farmers um, website. Um, I have recently come across it <laughs> with doing research and trying to get information on some of my seeds that I didn't have any sort of information on. Um, there was just nothing to go on. So I had to kind of get on the internet and find some stuff. And I came across this website for Urban Farmer Love the Earth. Um, they not only is it just a plethora of information pertaining to gardening um they also sell seed supplies cover crops um just a little bit of everything um but if you go well, let me right over here where that learning tab is is has been my friend um over the last couple of weeks because on their website, I mean, it, it's just so much information. Um, a lot of things that, you know, I'm, I am very much a beginner gardener. I do not profess to know it all. I learn something new every day, um, every season, all the time. So, but this right here has really, I mean, the charts that they have in here. Um, I'm going to show you my binder in a minute. Um, it's just been really, really helpful um, to me. So I did just want to come on first and show you guys that. Um, go check their website out. You know, if you already know about it, fantastic. Um, but if you don't know, go over and check their website out. I did order some seats from them. Also, I haven't received them yet. Um, <clears throat> but I just wanted to come first and show you that. Now I'm going to show you my binder, which I already kind of had brought this um, binder out. Um, let me get situated, make this easier. I had already kind of um, brought this binder out, I think on one of my last videos. Um, and I had started to um oh wait a minute let me back up for a minute bear with me guys um i did need to show you where i'm at with getting everything entered in so give me one moment just sign back on and um kind of show you where i'm at with my charting that i made um i did show a little bit of this on another video that I recently did but at that time I had not gotten anything um, as far as the data entered in so I am almost done and this has been a lot of work but it will be well worth it I know that I will stay committed this time and following up with this binder because it has been <laughs> a lot of work getting everything in here um, especially the way that I wanted it. So I just wanted to come on and show you where things are at. Um, by the time I finished with everything, I ended up with 12 pages of, um, different vegetables that, um, we're going to be planting for the 2019 season. Um, <clears throat> and I did this, you know, on what felt good to me and what made the best sense for me to be able to follow. Um, but every vegetable has its own section and if you as you move across you see um all of the information for each and every single vegetable that's in here 
Um, but for just the, even the special notes to kind of keep me organized. Oops, let me get it back in view. Like right here, you see the okra. And it's, you know, instructions on the packets. Um, most, seats, most of my seats have had the information on the packets. Some of them did not. Um, like seats that I brought, bought from, um, Survivor, Survival Essentials, yes. Um, they come in their little mini baggies, um, but there was no information on them. So, a lot of them were seats that I already had and grew, so I already knew the information. But the other ones I just got on YouTube or Googled it and got the information. But, like, for okra, as you can see, um, it's 55 days, um, for maturity with that I want to get this closer without it I don't know guys so you can kind of see where I'm going with this okay there and on the seed packet it suggests to soak the beans 12 to 18 hours before um, you plant the seedling so Things like that will always be in this column. And then I also have different symbols that I'm using. Let me zoom back out here. Um, and I've got a key code down here on the bottom for what each symbol that is next to the vegetable. And this is just simply to keep things on track for me. So as you can see right there, um, first time growing a vegetable has that symbol. Um, before first frost has its own and so on and so forth as you can see um, and again this is just the way that I did it for myself that I felt would be the easiest for me to be able to follow and keep up with um, and like I said I got you know a lot entered in I still have a few things to get entered in here and um, I will then be done with this and it'll just be you know waiting <laughs> for when it's time to start my seedlings which really is not that far away for some um, but yeah I mean so this has been keeping me busy over this holiday season now I want to show you the binder um, that I kind of got some more information put in here um, of course you all, you know, saw the page as far as the layout of the garden. Um, but going on to Urban Farmers website, I was able to just really get a lot of good information. Um, hold on, let me change this. And, um, I mean, just a lot of good information, guys. I mean, it's well worth to check it out. Um, it's really, I know, been a help to me so far and going to be a help to me um, in the days ahead when it gets closer and closer. Um, like this, it has, you could go in and type in your zone. If you don't know your zone, you just type in your city and state and it'll, you know, bring that up for you. And you will get this personalized um, vegetable planting calendar. For your own zone I hope you guys can see it it looks really weird on my end so hold on let's try it finagle this a little bit better I figure maybe being a little bit tilted would help okay that's a little better um, but like I said it has for your own area it will you know just give you just all the information that you need for your zone and I mean they had such a lot of helpful things on here you know being a beginner gardener I've always kind of struggled from the beginning you know with starting a garden on learning and wanting to know about things like companion planting and you know, I got a lot of information on YouTube and reading and different things. This to date has been the simplest thing. Um, if I knew that this <laughs> had existed in years past, I would have wouldn't got it. But they give you on their website just a just plethora of information. 
Um, and this is all vegetable companion planting chart. And as you see down here, it has kale and it gives you what is compatible to plant with your kale and what is combative. Um, I'm really, really going to enjoy, um, you know, using these. Um, the other thing it gives is a vegetable fertilizer guide. And again, it just gives all the information on that. I'm just going to go through a couple of my tabs. Um, disease control. That right there has been something that I am constantly learning every year. Um, and this one is a uh, flower growing in info for your pollinators. And what else do we have? I tab some pages. Oh, yeah. They have a section on there where you can just click on whatever like this you know be in the watermelon and it gives you all of the let me change this thing again sorry guys hold on bear with me there that's better um it, it is now this right here um the diploid if someone excuse me guys um can tell me what that is i haven't looked it up yet but i really meant to um, but for the watermelon, as you can see, it gives a list of all different watermelon varieties. It gives the day, the size, the color, the if it's disease resistant. Um, I am just really enjoying this. This is another section that I was just like blown away, um, which is it is a how to and teaching you what um, for your zone. Um, which vegetables go better in containers or which go better in raised beds and um, just, you know, from beginning to end on um, what vegetable to grow best in containers and, you know, just for your zone. I think this is just amazing. Um, this is another a section that I found in there and it is there from seed to harvest, um, a beginner's guide to growing squash or whatever it is i went and just printed off every vegetable variety that i am planting um so you can make this you know work for yourself and and what you are going to grow um and i have not even finished putting um different information sheets in here um i just kind of stopped at you know um where that was um so I'm telling you guys, it's well worth it to go and check out their website. Um, I mean, if you don't find anything in there that, you know, as far as information that you wanted to learn um, or just kind of brush up on what you know, the only thing that you've lost is a little bit of time, you know. And um, But I think that if you went, you know, you'll be able to find something um, that kind of is suited just for you. Um, so guys that is it for this video i'm not going to do an update video on um the indoor experiments that i'm doing right now because i just did one i think like a week ago so things are still going very 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 well um on my next uh what's growing on video i will do an update at that time so as always guys be blessed and i will see you on the next video take care